fun. We get any levels these now. We have one. But thy quest has only begun. Yeah, yeah. Now we unlock Lakeburg. Break the seal in Lakeburg next. This country attention never haven needs your help. More perk collections. Create additional perk collections to create. Oh, cool. Sword variants. Nice. Ooh, momentum sword. Hell yeah. Gladiator armor set. Cool. Ronin scarf set. Ooh, badass. Shields variations. Okay. And there's all that. And you upgrade to the improve the instructure. Survive night six in Lakeburg, and we get to have plus one hero again. We're gonna have five heroes. Survive night four in Lakeburg, and we get the seer. This is how we push the mist back as well. Okay, so night four on our next run in Lakeburg, we can expect to be getting this. Epic items. Epic quality. Cool. Alright, sweet. What about in Purple Town? What about in You've Been Naughty Land? Armor Maker of Assertion. Stonewall, there it is. <gasps> Ballista, yes! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yes! Oh, the longbow, my favorite! Oh, we unlocked so much shit, oh my goodness. Okay, stone walls, wait. I can unlock that during. I need to unlock it now. Armor maker, blacksmith, bow, your magic shop produces items. Um, what do I need? What do I want to start with? I want to start with longbow. Magic or what does this do again? Oh, this is the poison one. That's right. Oh, and it has like the sick death ray too. I like the death ray. The death ray is fun. Big old death ray. Novice's magic orb. Infect. Limit per targets one. It only does it to one target. But it applies poison, right? What, what is the fucking point of this thing again? No, it's just isolation. It's it's ju it's just an isolation attack. It just does more damage to isolated targets. It, it doesn't do poison or anything. The putrid ball does poison, which is a nine tile, and it applies the poison, which is good for getting through armor and dealing with shit over time. Also, if like you can get poison plus poison on your items, you can stack this damage up pretty high. The, the orb is useful, it has its uses. I'm not a big Scepter fan. I'd probably wait on that one. Additional potions. Potion of energy, plus one action points. Yo. Potion of movement points. There's nothing wrong with that shit. I'm gonna fire in this. All heroes have plus 10 damage. I'm gonna steal all heroes have plus 25 armor. Plus 10 block. Let's get that one. Plus 10 resistance is also good. Heroes have a death denial perk enabled. Whenever the hero is killed for the first time, the hero remains at one health and is invincible at the beginning of the next enemy turn. That's kind of cool. We start with 30 gold. That's, uh, that's all right. Swords be more often. I do love swords, but I don't want to waste an omen sword on that. Duckshill says, now that damage is separate, scepter is a good weapon sword for melee, or combined, not separate. Damage is combined. What do you mean damage is combined? All types of wooden walls, including gates and barricades, have so hell. Fuck that. I want stone. You get a general damage. That right, yeah. And you reckon this for a secondary, huh? Well, it does let you trade AP for move points and dodge, I guess. And why it's momentum as well. I mean, momentum is good. We like the sword for momentum. This is Propagation 6 Stun. I don't know, like, Conjure Code Storage, I guess. I'm not really all about it. What's the dagger good for again? Isolation, yes. This is a... This is Armor Piercing. 
And you get the throwing daggers, which is multi-hit poison. I remember the dagger being decent. We didn't have to worry about a lot of armored enemies in that one, but I remember them being a big pain later on in the other ones. You know, let's just unlock the stone and the ballista straight up, because I don't want to miss out on it, no matter what. Let's probably just unlock all the new stuff, like the buildings and shit. I've got enough essence, I think, to just get everything. Mounted ballista. Yes. Much taller. Elevated for improved vision. Yes. Good. Can I upgrade ballistas now? Yeah. You always could. There was always a tier 2 ballista, right? Unless you need a new, new thing. What omens do I want to put on my next run? Let's go have a look. Lakeberg. Oh, so if I go enemies at plus 20% health, I get plus 20% tainted essence. Uh, I mean... Uh, why not? Why not? Oh, you get more omens here. Cool. You can make normal ballistas into mana and have the double fire thing as well. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So I missed the first streams this while on vacation. How are you liking the game? No, it's great. This game, this game's great. Tainted essences are good. Definitely get the plus block. Uh, having Leapfrog in general is alright. I think I can hire better omens now that I have more room for them. So go back. We, we have room for like three more at least. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I want Watchtower is what I really want. Good essence here, I spent it on too much shit. I spent it on too much shit! I mean, plus 10 damage is a really good omen. Plus 10 resilience is also really good. And then the omen is second chance. That costs too much, I can't have that one. But probably get, like, the damage one that's, like, really good. Get the, uh, get the block one as well, because it combos with the DR. I'm out, of, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. See, that's why I wasn't buying the other stuff, because I was like... I was used to here, it's like, you're gonna get three omens, but you, now you can get five, so I should have... I should have saved more essence to get more omens. That's alright, we'll make it work. So, we're just gonna grab sturdiness... Fieriness... And that's it. Omen and leaps too, I guess. Alright, so we got big block. Omen of leaping. Big damage. Move points. Tainted essence. Let's go. Sounds good. There's a lot of omens to unlock. Good good lord. And we'll put on the plus 20% health for plus 20% weight tainted essence. Because why not? Why not, guys? We can handle it, right? I'm sure. Wonder what the map's gonna look like. This should be a four-way now, right? Yes. Oh, it's still kind of like kind to you though, because like one of the corners has like a beaten out to defend. Oh no, wait, you do. What the fuck is this layout? Wait, what the shit? Wait, how do you defend that wall? Okay, you you can put walls there, but you can't put walls up for flyers. That's that's bullshit. Why do they start the house there to fuck your walling? Fuck you. That's so annoying. I'm gonna have to move that house before I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move that house. That house should not be there. Ballista beags? What? Where? What are you talking about? You still have some stone walls, so that's pretty friendly. Beagle hits by you people. Shut up, Incarnate. Put ballistas. I can't do it yet, you little goblin. It's turn one. There's no building yet. Wouldn't put many defenses up north or walls, why not? Oh, you know what? You can't break the gates, by the way. Oh. What? You just, oh, like, these are like special gates. I see what you're saying. You just gotta wait till they die. Okay. It's a weird layout then. Um, let's just come over here. Maybe this is where, like, the swamp monster boss will show up for this. I'm sure there's some aquatic-themed boss. This is probably why this part of the map looks like this, so that it can live there. You can't fool me, game. I know what's coming. Hey, um, what is coming, though, is it's time for a raffle. Hang on. 
Yeah, someone just got their tickets in. Wait, because I need to go and reset it for you. Hang on. Hey, by the way, anyone here heard of a game called Tunguska the Visitation before? Apparently it's like a top-down stalker. I got sent codes for, um... I got sent codes for it. This morning. For it and all the DLC. And it looks kind of like it'd be worth a check out. So maybe we can check it out today or tomorrow. Looks kind of cool. It's like top-down stalker. Looks kind of cool. Alright, raffle is up. Exclamation mark raffle. Get your raffles in. GeForce plays it's pretty good. Yeah, I want to try it out. Today or, today or tomorrow. Maybe we can fit it in. Um, raffle for your chance to be one of these three heroes. Oh, Gila, I like your style. Um, sword, tome, and hand crossbow. That's decent. Okay, I'll be right back. Throw those raffles in. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. One sec. <laughs> I'm back. Might as well put on a, some, I'm gonna find like a 2D image for a gas mask or something if we play that stalker game. Alright, who won? Oh, I wanna put a little gas mask on my VTuber. <laughs> the winners are Max Attack. That's one. My melee Max Attack. Oh, you look pretty cool too. Oh, look at the little smirk. My goodness. Sorry, a little burp. Max attack, let's go, you're in. Oh, wait, I didn't do it right. Next on the agenda, it is Monkey Duck, who has a picture of a squirrel as their Twitch avatar, which is confusing. So I gotta rename Bertie to Monkey Duck. What a whimsical little name. And then finally, Julia is Belkad. Belkad, you're in. You are the three, and we're going to get two more during this run if we don't wipe early. Uh, let's see what y'all are actually good at. First, first turn, how you do, how you do. Take all the stuff off so we ain't got any biases. And let's just look at what the stats tell us of you lot. So, oh, take a left two. So, 20 daily health regen, 25 finest physical damage, 
minus damage in general, plus accuracy, okay? Armor, block, magic damage, obviously you're good for melee with that. Alcoholic, oh shit, low health though, and minus resistances. Mary Jen, okay. Heavy sleeper, alcoholic, blacksmith. I love your vibe. You're amazing. Um, tactician. Opportunism, isolationism, but no damage. Minus one skill range, minus one move points. Okay. Not gonna lie, you guys aren't, like, I'm not loving a lot of your traits. Do you all have fatality? You all have fatalities. You can all be melee. Uh, I mean, the minus health isn't great on you, but if we can get over that, you're pretty shoe in for being the melee so let's get you back in the melee gear I think fur pants fur pants worn pants boom and then between you two What are your perks like? Oh, shit! You guys actually just get more perks in general. They, like, tear it. Holy shit, you got, like, a whole other thing going on here. Poison. There's, like, a poison tree now. Good lord. And is this new? Is, is this armor tree? Is this new? Nice. Two new trees. You don't get to carry one unit for the previous round in, like, into the breach? No. Oh, but that, that reminds me. I want to play Into the Breach again, too. They did a new update. I really want to play Into the Breach again. I like this. I like playing games that have, like, runs like this, too, that aren't year-long campaigns. Because I like a lot of different tactics games. And it'd be fun to play more together. It'd be fun to, like, do a bit of tactics variety. Like, play a different game every week again. We haven't done that for ages. Infested Planet. Into the Breach. Um, we got this, of course. We got the last spell. write that down. So I, I want to play Into the Breach again. I love that game. It's really fun. Okay. Did you finish Invested Planet? It's great. Definitely play the Jester's DLC um, mode. That mode is really, really good. That's like better than the campaign. And the campaign is like fun. Devon always has a melee magic range of three generic perk trees and then two random ones. Cool. So these are the generics. This is melee magic ranged. Oh, I see. And then this one is, you can have anything, is that right? Oh, that's cool. So this is poison. And this is what, like, what is this? What is this meant to be? Down blue arrow. Unlock this contamination skill. Allow me to apply contagion to the target. What? What does it cost? Is it free? When a unit dies, all its negative alterations are applied to two adjacent units that are not already contagious. Stun transfer can still focus a stun resistance. Interesting. That sounds good if you're smart and want to fuck around. What have you got here? You've got, um... Isolationing? What is this? Roguing? Daggering? Huh. Huh. Cool. Allowing to restore one charge to the nearby traps. Cool. Resupply. Resupply catapults? Allowing to st restore one use per night to a nearby catapult? Huh? Nice. That'll be good when we unlock those. Human Ballista. At the end of every, the enemy movement phase, here or make the attacks the two closest enemies with the Human Ballista Bolt skill. Ha <laughs> what? Increases the damage of all defenses. What? Oh, that's sick. Get it, girl. I love that. I love that. All right, we're just going to give you back your random gear. I mean, your, your standard gear. That's so cool. I love that. Oh, not you. Alright. Let's get into the first round already. Enough squad loadout, Beagle. One, 
two, three, four, five. Okay, got the runners right away this time, got a bird right away as well, a little winged. Five, our mana region is low, we want to like not use as much as we need as, that was English. We want to use as little of it as we need to, but I'll just start off with a lightning just to freshen things up, make some holes as well for the sword. But that's uh... That's not solid, is it? Shit. My great plan, doomed already. Actually, watch this. Woo! I love this sword, it's so fun! Alisaros says, Tier 2 of the defenses is I'm the strongest perk of the game, but also you have to play it in a kind of slow and boring way to make the use of it. Tier 2. Which one? Defensive training. Enemies killed by defenses now give bonus XP to this hero as if they were a kid killer. Oh. You're saying you have to play in a way where the ballistas automatically overwatch camp the enemies as much as possible? Wow, couldn't be me. I, I couldn't sit there and watch the ballistas kill everyone. No, no, it couldn't be me. Is that the one you're talking about? No, it couldn't be me. Why did you tell him? Oh, no. No, please, don't make me use ballistas, please. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so upset. Let's get the hand crossbow here, which does a double shot. A lot of fun weapons in this to, to choose from. Many legends to choose from. Wipe that fucking shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Wow, you did, you did two damage, kid. Oh, yeah, because I start with resistance and block now. Max attack starts at 23 block! I'm invisible! Alright, we don't want to use any more mana here because if we don't have to, we're only going to use it if we need to here. That said, what is this? This is propagation, but it also does, like, contagion, right? What is this? Chains a portion of damage, negative alteration, range damage. It's multi-hit propagation, that's right. Right, right, right. So we'll do one of these. Wait, not like that, because then you waste it. Because they'll die. Um, Like this. So it like bomber mans along, it'll like propagation along. Make me a hole. I want a hole. Wait. No, it's good. That's yeah. Cross. Make me more holes. So the crossbow is good of the multi-hit split up damage for taking care of the stragglers like that, as you can see. <laughs> You're already dead. Godwood says, I assume you just never second guess yourself because I haven't seen you doing it. Are you aware you can undo movement with delete? Yes, yes. Sometimes I misclick and I have to. 
But I, I'm just trained from most Tetris games I've played for thousands of hours to just, like, do it right the first time. Um, when I played Into the Breach, I used the undo feature a lot. I remember there was a lot of, like, because you could undo whole turns there. Same as when I play Slice and Dice. Another game I should add to the list of tactics games. We should play Slice and Dice on stream sometime because it's actually really, it's really fun. Maybe even by the end of today or tomorrow? I have so many games I want to play with you guys. Slice and Dice, now that we're doing like a little bit of variety. Um, and Tunguska. I want to play Tunguska with you as well. I have like five games on the list here already I want to play with you. Yeah, Tactics Over just came out. Yeah, yeah, I might be playing that before Dark Tide. It, it's possible. Might be a promo stream coming. What's the next step? More Blade Rush. The next step is Leapfrog, like this. Where are the city limits? I don't want to let them get the city limits. I think the city limits are here because then they'll start, start a panic. We can't have that. That is will consume your life. I've never been like a... It looks like a JRPG. I've never been a JRPG fan. Well, not like a JRPG, but you know what I mean. Like, it looks like... Final Fantasy Tactics and stuff. I've never played a single one of those in my life, I don't think. So I'm not sure, we'll see. I mean, it'd be great! It, if it consumes my life, cool, I love my life being consumed. That's great. Could be cool. Hey, thank you, Tiffin. I think I'm gonna have to burn more mana here to keep them from getting inside the city limits. I'm, I don't think I have a choice, I think I have to. They're just too healthy. You see, they're too healthy. Especially these ones. That damn bird, I think, won't quite get in. But I gotta kill this fucker. No! Tactics Ogre has a fair amount of similarities with XCOM. That's because Ogre inspired XCOM and all the good based isometric RPGs. Oh, oh, really? Wait, Ogre. Have I seen that before? I feel like I've seen what came before. Ogre Tactics game. Tactics Ogre. I feel like I've seen the original. Tactics Ogre, the pre predecessor to XCOM. I'm just looking it up. Ogre basically the granddaddy. Ogre game. Ogre. I'm looking at it now. Okay, so first there was Ogre. And then Ogre inspired Tactics Ogre and XCOM, I guess. And they went in like two different ways where XCOM was XCOM. And then Tactics Ogre looks like more of like a, a, a JRPG kind of style. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna go Propagation. Nice. Get that good shit. I like the noise that it makes too. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Next turn. And this should be the last of them. So we just want to stop any of them from getting inside the end zone. It's just Blood Bowl, folks. Don't let them get inside the end zone here. And if we can keep the stone walls up and just repair them, that's cheaper too. So I want to get rid of these birds this turn, I think. If we can. These walls do block line of sight, is it concern? Just something to consider. No, fuck. You guys have got enough damage to take a few hits from these fucking birds. Oh, but they can just fly over shit. Okay, you gotta, you gotta hit them. You gotta hit them and slow them down. It's not working. Fuck, fuck. No, I think actually the panic only generates when they've been left in the town center. So it, it's probably, I'm probably okay here. But I'm still probably gonna pop more mana just to get through. I love hearing the mutilisk sound there. Manhole said Julian Gollop said his laser battle 1989 to predecessors or XCOM. Oh yeah, actually, and then there's yeah, the predecessors before that. I watched the start of that um that video documentary that everyone told me to watch. And yeah, I remember now, yeah, he was saying that shit. He was lying! Ha ha ha! 
He just ripped off this other game you're telling me about, obviously. My damage a little bit... Oh, no, no, don't do that. Fuck. See, there you go. Now I can use the undo. And now it's a great time for the undo. What documentary? Uh, some... Some shit that everyone told me to watch. You wanna watch the documentary? Um... What, what's the name of the channel? You guys kept fucking recommending it to me non-stop, so don't... Don't fail me now. What, what's it called? The XCOM one that came out last month while I was in the middle of learning that Darktide is sick. Ahoy, yeah, ahoy, thanks. That's it. Ahoy's XCOM documentary you might like to watch if you want to watch shit like that. I watched the start of it, like I watched like the first five minutes and it seemed alright. Seemed pretty interesting. All right, next turn. So they are gonna have a couple people inside city limits. Well, one. Okay, but the panic doesn't go up until you leave them in the city limits. You can see the little exclamation mark. That means they're inside the city limits right now. If you end the turn without them being dead, the panic will rise. But we have the opportunity, which is quite friendly and quite nice, to kill them before that happens. So the chat was just saying hello. What, and they're like Mr. Burns as well? Ahoy hi! Hoi hoi! Green there. Great UI in this game. Fucking phenomenal UI. Um, very friendly to the player. They're dead, as you can see. I'm gonna do another propagation -y here. The crossbow scales really fucking well with two things. Plus propagation bounce and plus multi-hit. Um, because unlike the lightning, which already has nine propagation bounces, which is a lot already. This, this does more... Well, this has a decent amount of damage... But, um, it has multi-hits and... It has multi-hits and it has already a low number of propagations, which means adding more propagations to it adds a lot more. And plus, if you get a multi-hit, you're adding even more. So basically, if you can stack multi-hit and propagation pluses both on the crossbow, it's... V or the hand crossbow, it's very fucking... It can really get out of hand. Plus, it's got... It's flexible because it's got an armor-piercing move as well, and it's got a poison move. And the quick shot is useful for finishing off little babies, and also stacks of the multi-hit, you get more. So it's... Also, the cool thing about the quick shot is it minus moves point as well. It slows enemies down. Uberman says, Wow, Ballista were more effective in warfare than I gave them credit for. I always thought video games ever hyped them for the cool factor. They were a staple of the Roman Empire and used defensively too. Um, yeah, Ballistas were pretty pog, right? It was like guns before guns. People were like, damn, this shit's sick. <laughs> damn, this shit pogers as fuck. I'm pugging out of my mind for this shit. Hmm. You actually can't hurt anyone. Nice. Oh. Can't touch this. Jason says, Beagle, just FYI, there are guns and tactics over there in late game. Oh, Jason, you know me, don't you? See, that, that gets me even more interested. I know very little about it, so if I do end up getting uh, the promo to play it, it'll be interesting because I it's going to be like... I think a style of tactics game I haven't really played much of before. Uh, which is exciting already, and yeah, I know nothing about it. So don't spoil me. Actually, don't tell me anything about it. Let it all be, if I, I, I'm probably going to end up playing it, let it all be fresh for me. It's so rare I get to just like enjoy a tactics experience like without knowing everything about it already, you know what I mean? That's why the last spell is so fun, too. So excited to watch you play it. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm gonna let you down if I don't end up doing it, but... Yeah, I, I, I've, I've been offered a promo for it, so... We're just working out the details. I look forward to maybe playing it, yeah. Excited! Excited! I'm getting more excited! You guys are getting me excited! It's dead. Alright. Get that S rank. That's all we do here, folks. Big S's. We don't take dubs, we don't take L's, we just take S's. Off-hand magic orb. So you get a death ray. Yeah. Uh, wow. 
Uh, but the fucking XP gain on that is horrible. No, no, ch no chance, no shot. Too much mana cost too, fuck that. This armor isn't very good either. None of these are great. Like, actually none of these are great. This is plus experience gain, so like, that's kind of good. Um... Worn medium armor. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a bit of an up, but it's not that good. I think just grab the offhand magic orb for more stats. For like, for more XP. I don't like any of those, though. New powers is achieved. I've got a Vegemite scroll here I'm gonna eat, by the way. Let me just open it up. The Beaks ever play Jagged Alliance 2 on stream? Never on stream, I don't think. I didn't really get into it. There's a new Jagged Alliance coming, but... It looks kind of sh... Well, it doesn't look exciting. The trailer doesn't inspire anything in me. It just looks kind of... Yeah. But uh, I hope it's good. I, I, I wish it's good. A what? A what? Abomination you Oh yeah, uh, face reveal by the way. Holy shit. Poggers! A what? A Vegemite scroll. It's like a pastry that's like, look it up, Google Vegemite scroll. Cursed sets. Minus XP gain. But momentum mana and dog momentum is good. Momentum, momentum very good, we like that. Unlocks, yeah we're still working on that. She's cute. See what you think of this one. Oh, no face reveal yet for her. Never mind. Teasing you over here. Omen of Violence. New ones. Omen of Softening. All heroes have plus 12 resistance reduction. Omen of Dexterity. Any, any of you guys afflicted with the Omen of Softening? Couldn't be me. Never happens to me. I never have that problem. I'm gonna have supplies, motherfucker. I'm gonna have the siege. All types of defenses deal plus 25% damage. Yeah, baby. Daddy like. What the hell is that, Mongo? Okay. Oh, level ups too. Have a quick look at the store. I don't think I can afford it because I'm gonna have to be getting my econ e economy going. I can't afford these things. It's it's economy time. I have no time for all this shit. Oh, the the power stance on these pants though is insane. Maybe I can afford them. No, I can't. I can't. I gotta get my economy going. Let's level up. <sighs> Armor is good for for tanking. Movement points are good too. Armor stacks while well blocking, so yeah, it's good. I oh let's let's actually up our my health here because our health is like disturbingly low. Oh, just up your armor; it's better until you fight the lancers. The lancers could be an issue. We just we'll have our block up by then, hopefully. Um, uh, physical damage is all right. Oh, my momentum is tempting. It's it's my tempting, but physical damage just in general is just better here, I think. Next. I never really buy max mana, I just buy mana regen, honestly. Accuracy. Does this weapon have an accuracy? No. Nuke Messes, I heard crit is better than damage overall. Yeah, though, not as reliable. But it does give you big boosties. Yeah, crit is a very good stat we've been seeing. Get some resistance reduction. Skill range, physical damage, daily mana regen. I love that. And for our mage. Oh, you just rolled fucking everything, didn't you? Oh, just a flat extra 10% damage is a lot. I can't resist. Isolation, not really what we want on you. 
Ooh, propagation damage though is nice. Nice job. Well rolled, gamer. Now we need to get fatality straight up. I'm, I'm almost certain nothing's gonna beat fatality straight up. No way. Need fatality. Need me a fatality. For our ranger here, what are we gonna get? They're applying poison when you're not currently poisoned. Also apply stun. You've got a poison tree, which comes as well with the fact you have a poison ability. At the end of Hero's turn, apply 30 poison to all enemies within a range of 3. What? That's sick! For a melee. Leech health? Oh man, that's so good for a melee. I love that. O auras! Thorns! Diablo 2 Paladins are back, baby! They're here in the last spell. When applying poison to a unit... Also apply contagion, point toxins, plus five poison damage. Yeah. When attacking an isolated unit, attack gets forty plus forty percent reliability, which is just upping your base damage, uh, your min damage a lot. Now this is amazing right now. I'm not gonna lie. None of this is blowing me out. They do have isolation bonuses, do they? No, they don't. Crossbow doesn't have isolation bonuses. They're rolled bonuses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, they do. This skill is really good, but it's fucking annoying to keep using, but I feel like I have to take it, because it is good. I just wish I didn't have to use it all the time. Like, I wish it was automatic. I wish it was passive. That's like the cost of it. It's annoying. <laughs> you have to keep fiddling with it. Same on you too, I think. Okay! Who wants plus 3 damage and plus 8 experience gain for minus 10 health? Let's give it to Rangy. The Ranger! Got, got an orb. Gaze upon the orb. Now I can just build these bad bitches straight up, right? Yeah! Oh yeah! I kinda wanna get rid of this house so I can put walls here. So that flyers... Well, but flyers can already go over walls, Beagle, you fucking simpleton. What are you talking about? Is that right? Can flyers go over the stone walls? I feel like the stone walls are high and the flyers can't go over them. I mean, I could just do ballistas as well. I love that and get him straight up. Then go over. Okay, then I don't know what I'm fucking talking about then. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. There's no need to wall this off. I'm stupid as hell. So, with ballistas in play, we want to get scavenger camp up quick. How many knights do I have here? This is a full. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A lot of time to get that economy running as well. A lot of time. Especially until you get extra mages. Automatically fires bolts that incoming horde targeting the closest enemy, elevated from improved vision. So the only reason to get this is to have more health, but also just to see over things. You can start off with baby ballistas. Here's your pass through it. Pretty neat. Horizontal gate. Magic also does my damage. Oh, okay. Does it do... Well, we'll, we'll check for ourselves, I guess. Okay. 
Let's start with the economy. So I want gold mine. One gold mine here. I want to scavenge some gold. I'm not going to be able to use the thing this turn, but I want to scavenge some gold and then turn that into upgrading it. So scavenge gold over here. And then we'll upgrade production effects so we're getting maxed out of it. So that's like all we can really afford tonight. Can't really afford anything else. Let's put up some ballistas. Let's get Ballistastic. The last preview is really nice. I appreciate that a lot. So if I put that there, right? If I put that there. If I put that there, I can shoot over the walls. Yeah. Do I want to leave space to double wall stack? Probably not. Probably one set of walls is fine. I feel like that, and then we can have a look. So, the damage goes from 120 to 140 to 140 to 170. So when we hit the, like, the limit on our ballistas and or when we need to have them stay over shit, it's definitely worth the upgrade. I think for now, it's more economical to just buy two ballistas. You're gonna get 240 to 280 out of that instead of 140 to 170. But we will eventually be upgrading them. Do ballistas for now. Oh, I can afford three ballistas. Hello. Yummy. Yummers. Yeah, snarf. Wait, I should have repaired shit. My bad. Forgot to repair my stone walls. That's fine. Just don't let them, just don't let them hit the stone walls. Easy. Come on over. Just don't let them, don't get hit. One, two, three, four, five. Do not get hit, bitch. I got ballistas now. Ooh, they got a lot of runners. Yes! I missed you, ballistas. I missed you, 40 out of 40 limit of fully upgraded ballistas with double shot. I missed you. Oh. Sorry, just eating. Oh. That's so tasty. Ballistas also can't miss. Oh, yeah, that's sick. We love that. Mm. Oh my god, that tastes so good. Wow. That tastes so good. That is, a, that is such a good taste, my god. Mm. What was he eating? We need a Vegemite scroll and it tastes incredible. You execute. <laughs> My momentum is still so baby. Doesn't do enough yet. We're gonna need some. Uh... We're gonna need some power here. Oh, don't forget I can use... I did forget. Don't forget I can use the crossbow to slow enemies down as well. And it's it's a multi-hit, so if you hit the same target twice, it's minus two. Ah, yes! The crossbow is very fucking flexible for this. Why is the crossbow allowed to do this? I don't really know, but it's pretty cool. Because now I can poison you too while you die slowly in severe pain. And just like that, we're not going to take any damage. Perfect. Handcraft Spurs is the best ranged open ammo as Nuke Man. I think that's what's great about this game is there's a lot that you can really say are, like, the best. Like, there's a ton that just have really, really good... Diff but different playstyles.
Oh, those ballistas are so tasty! Just like this Vegemite scroll, it's so incredible. Um. Alright. Um. We need some fucking work done over here, I'll tell you that much. Is this stream sponsored by Vegemite Scrolls? I wish. I wish I just got to have Vegemite Scrolls all the time. By the way, the hand crossbow's mobility penalty actually stacks. Ah, oh, sorry, not stack. Not as, it, we already know it stacks, but it actually lasts two turns, which means this enemy is now just going to sit here and fucking die the poison. Wow, I love it. Da 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 da. I'm fucking loving it. What a great way to invalidate like annoying enemies like that. That's awesome. Super kill. I really like it. You notice TLS Brit's portrait is missing? Yeah, because you won! You won the run, Brit! Good job! You did it! Poison also applies moon deeper from X-Way. Yup. 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 Yarp, yep, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck, I fucked that up. I thought I unfucked it, but then I refucked it. No, I'm going to be hit now, fucking shitbags. Oh, only one of them's gonna hit me, cool. Hot Vegemite chicken? What the fuck are you talking about? A chicken? Did you win? Yeah, you won. You won the one life speed run world record. You did. You you are a raffle that won their campaign in record time. I need to come over and oh, I should have multi hitted that. I'm stupid. Be listening to Vegemite Cole's chicken roast. I don't want you to link that to me, please. Please don't link that to me. Do not. Nobody needs to see that. You need to? Hmm. Curious, but do I? Maybe you'll find the answer is I don't. Now here's something I think I do need to see. What about little death ray? Whoop! Mmm. <laughs> now that's almost as tasty as my Vegemite scroll. Oh shit, I'm exposed as fuck here. Oh shit. Oh shit. What have I done? I don't have my wand to get me out of this this mess. Oh shit and fart. Oh no. Well, at least I can make it so only one of you gets to hit me. Thanks to the minus mo movement on ya. Alright, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. 
Just a little hit. Oh, the ballista almost saved me. I actually probably did because it lowered the damage. I can't remember how to say the you're already dead thing. Sorry everyone, I let you down. Omae wa mou shinderu. That's it. What am I saying? Of course I remember. I'm out of TUs already though, unfortunately. Come block here. I think it's time for one of these ones. It's just a little bit hot over here. I really need more mana. Maybe you should build a temple. Maybe you should shut up. Maybe I should get a fucking gold mine is what I need. I need gold. How about that? I need some fucking gold mines. They say friendship is more powerful than gold. You know, they say that. I forgot to buff each other's damage, shit. I hate it when I do that. Right, you can do a little bit of damage to me, it's cool. I can take it. So all I gotta do is just stop these fucking idiots from getting close enough to do any damage to me. I've done it again. Just give you the poison. He's done it again! God, the hand crossbow is actually pretty sick. I forgot how good it was. It's actually pretty sick. Wesson Sammy says, more valuable than gold, you dumb idiot himbo. Get your Balthazar Gelt quotes right. Yeah. I put some respect on the name while I'm at it too, right? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself. Put some respect on that name. That's Balthazar Gelt Frog to you. How dare I? Ooh, Balthazar Gamer. Yo, the dodges. This guy's got fucking hands. Oops. Undo. Undo that move. This bit of this song always makes me think of Better Off Alone. You know? Bum, 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 bum. You can you can kind of hear it kicking in there, can't you? I'm not crazy. Bum, 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 bum. You can hear it. It is in there. Can help it over on this side. Just trying to keep him off the walls. It's all about triage, guys. Triage! See what I'm saying? That's what I was talking about yesterday when I was saying I'm fucking up my accent. It's all about managing the flow, just keeping them off. Just seeing the priority targets, holding down alt to see the movement, and just taking the priority targets so they can't do damage to the walls, just keeping them useless, because they're mainly only folks, it's like Nurgle. We just keep them back. We just keep them back and it's easy. We shoot them with our guns, our ballista guns, it's easy. I love to talk you out tomorrow. I think that's it, yeah, yeah. Cut him up! Wait, aren't you the one of the plus XP? I'm feeding kills to the wrong person. No, no, I'm right. No, no, I'm wrong. Yeah, it is you. Crossbow should be feeding all the kills. Because I think they get extra bonus. As well. Boom, done. Ooh, there's a big one of an item there. 
Kendra says, how rotic does your accent have to be to introduce an R sound to triage? I don't know. What does rotic mean? Triage. This is what I was saying yesterday, is I add R's now into words that don't need them. It's very weird. It's some... It's something that's happened to me over the course of many years. Course of many years. Of, like... I started showing up a few years ago, and I think it's the Americanisms. I think it's, a, like, there's, like, this Midwest American German Jeff Blood Bowl, like, accent that is coming into, like, just my normal speaking accent, and I don't know why. I thought just something Australians did. No, that's only with no. No. Beagle, did Beagle, do you want to give me some of that Vegemite scroll? No. No. <laughs> no, I want to eat it. Nima says, relating to or denoting a dialect or variety of, en no, of English in most of the US and Southwest in England, in which R is pronounced before a consonant as in hard, and at the ends of words as in far. But those words already have R's in them. Isn't that just normal? Oh, rotic, I never heard of this before. Is it like emphasizing, you mean, the 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 R? Hard. 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 As opposed to many British accents just sort of drop them. I guess. I guess, yeah. Alright, hang on, I don't like some new shit. Anyway, yeah, I'm getting very rotic in my accent then. I don't know why. But I think it's the Americans. Triage. Triage. Yeah. Beagle, you need to keep your mouth open unnecessarily long while speaking. Triage! Mr. Blinky says, have you ever engaged in erotic roleplay every fucking day of my life? Yeah, Beagle's just become cosmopolitan. I agree. I've just become a citizen of the world. I have, like, a unique new accent. I, it's no longer tied to any any geography. Hmm. Two-handed sword. That's a double hitty. But it costs two. All right. That's a momentum thrust that costs one. Okay. Uh, maneuver. This is kind of like the one of the sword, but different. Charge. Range two to four. Oh, that only costs one, but it costs a move point as well. That's sick. And you have the Sword Blast AoE. Axe slept so hard. I actually wasn't too happy of the axe I tried in my offline run. I never got a very good one though, to be fair. It's all about how you use them. They're all good at their own different things, I think. Power stuff. Oh, this is the one that lets you teleport for free, right? Well, not for free. Pillar of Lights does damage and lowers their accuracy. Novice's Power Staff is a nine-tile stun. That's candy. Oh, and that, that yeah, if you, if you kill them, you follow up and you teleport in. And then you can do the Scorching Wave and the Fire Thrower. Yeah, it's alright. Don't hate it. I really should max out all this crap. Well, what we'll do is we'll get 200 swords. What about crossbows? Crossbows are armor piercing, right? You got the straight shot for 80 to 98. Heavy bolt, which is inaccurate. This is just like the short bow, just power shot again. More damage, but inaccurate. Oh, it ignores the target's block. That's what's better about it compared to the short blow. Good for taking out those splitters.
Um, wooden crossbow. Impaling bolt. Two, two, and it hits four enemies in a row. Okay. Explosive bolt. Cross. Yeah, I mean, it seems alright. Crossbow power should have straight line on me. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's going to be in a cross. It's all coming back to me now. I just unlock everything, fuck it. Add a little bit more damage, back to the operation. So, we are now going to upgrade our mine. Get a bunch of gold. New items as well, what this? This scarf adds isolation damage, which the crossbow would benefit from, or already does the benefit from him. This is a 15 armor hammer, kind of lame. And this hat's kind of lame. So I think it's all about this scarf. Yo, monkey duck, you about to look swag. It is funny talking about my accent, because I went back and, like, I listened to myself talking in, like, some of my older videos from, like, seven, seven years ago. And I sound so fucking different. Can I pull one up real quick? Hang on. It's so... I sound so fucking different. It's crazy. Okay. But we... It's not over yet. Hang on. We've got shit to do here. Look, look how light and Australian I sound. I'm so nasal. We got shit to do here. Now, Daishi. Daishi! Move, move in here and deal with this thing. They get you here and deal with this thing. My... People, people thought my voice was sexy back then, but why? It's so light and nasal. Have you got shock absorbing armor? Have you got shock absorbing armor? Listen, listen to me. Fucking listen to me. No, you fucking don't. All right, hold on. Hold the hell on, kids. I sound like a little weenie, don't I? But now, ten years later, sorry, seven years later, <laughs> my voice has matured. I'm 32 now. I'm an old silver fox. A daddy. You sound the same to me? No, I don't! <laughs> you say armor with both R's now. <laughs> Seven years later, Beagle has hit puberty. <laughs> you just sound like Beagle? Nah! Listen out. So different! Listen. You don't, do you? I just checked that so quick. My mind's a blur right now. My mind's a blur right now. I'm not putting the voice on. Shut up, I'm not putting the voice on. I sound very different. I sound very Oh yeah, go and listen to like the first Iron Man Impossible 2. Iron Man Impossible 1. Go and listen to me in the first Iron Man Impossible 2. I sound so different. It goes bad. It's ruthless, it's punishing, and it's fantastic. So let's get to it. So Who first is this? First, when you start a campaign, you have to pick which region you're going to. Ah, but fuck it all. Because Asia is Who the best is one, this? that's what I picked. Australia but Beagle, why is Asia the best one? Because welcome to Australia, mate! 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 Welcome to the city I'm living in right now, actually. That's, uh, that's definitely an omen of some kind. Oh yeah, I was, I was living in Sydney when I did this video. Holy fuck. You said a cheaper mic? You're out of your fucking mind, Exodus Infinite. You have no idea. I live my life. I, I listen to my own voice in my own ears. I sound completely different now. It sounds young. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Slink. Most reasonable chatter. Slink says, goodness, that sounds young in all caps. Yeah. This, this one was 10 years ago. I was 22. Alright, so let's look at my team. I got... Well, what a little baby. He's such a little baby there. That's me before I was... Yeah, that, that's, that's me before I was Americanized. That's right. Compare old armor videos to now. Armor? Oh my god, hang on. One more, one more. Yeah, let me pull it up. That's like the oldest content I've got. I'm gonna go to Beagle 240290. Beagle... Sorry, oh my god, that woman is wearing an outfit. Good lord. A beagle 24... Sorry, I went to my YouTube front front uh, page and it was trying to recommend thirst traps to me. Beagle 240290. What is like my earliest video with voice? The difference is he used to talk like Yeah, I know. Where is the first video I ever talked in? Well, one of the first. Um... 
There's a bunch. They're, they're all 10 years ago. It's so like the same era. I don't know if I talk any of these, though. I'm, I'm looking at, like, all these, like, Shaq Tech videos, and a lot of them are just, like, little snippets where I shot at people. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Who cares? Oh, here's one. Here's 38 seconds. No, that's got DMX on it. That'll get us copyright claimed. Fuck it. Who cares? Bad idea whoever recommended looking at my YouTube videos for armor. Takes too long. The bit's gotten old now. It's stale. Perfect Menace says, I like how after all this time and interaction, Jam still has an accent and you don't. Yeah, because I'm I'm the one who's like... I actually don't know why, actually. She listens to the same shit I do. I guess I listen to more. I guess I'm just fucked up. I'm more malleable. That's actually the actual reason, is I'm more of a parrot. I, um, I actually do that a lot. I will, I will subconsciously modulate my sound and voice and mannerisms to the thing I enjoy the most lately. Neighbor. Yeah, I, I just talk fucked up. That's the actual reason. There's nothing behind it. I just decided to talk fucked up. <laughs> it's really funny because I'm not moving my mouth on the camera, but volume triggers the PNG tuber. So it's, it looked like she was the PNG tuber bouncing up and down. <laughs> Is that why you never came in a weeb? Why? What are you talking about? Oh, hey, my mommy's, my mommy's DMing me. Hang on, I gotta look at my mommy. What's she sending me? Oh yeah, yeah. She's just she's just catching up with me. She, my my mama's just catching up. That's all. Anyway, let's play the fucking game. How about that shit? Let's play the fucking game. Let's put get resistance reduction, which ignores enemies' dr. Friendly reminder that you're mentioned numerous times in check the TV tropes page. Yeah, <laughs> TV tropes. Jesus Christ. Daily mana regen. That is good. That is good, good, good. More spells is good. Crit for your ma. Kill for the Emperor! Same thing. More damage? Yes, please. I mentioned on the XM page as well, yeah. We were talking about that the other day with like the temple ship cheese and everything. Skill range, reliability. Oh, big XP gain. Who wants to get a lot of XP this time around? Let's do it. Let's hit those later levels. Uh, my damage dealer here. I don't really want these. I would take the damage, but I don't really want it. I want I want tanking stats. Resistance is good, but there's not a lot of it. I'm gonna re-roll. Oh, the armor's alright. We'll take that. Beagle is a pioneer in the world of XCOM. Honestly, I enjoyed that a lot, and that's why I like playing new experiences too. Unfortunately, it sounds like everyone's heard of this Tactics Ogre game before me, so unfortunately. I can't pioneer anything. I like being a pioneer. That was really fun. When XCOM Enemy 2012 came out, first came out, like, it was really fun to be at the bleeding edge of that game as it was becoming popular and, like, a whole genre was becoming popular and revitalized again. It was super fun to be, like, at the bleeding edge of that and to be, like, pioneering strategies. I love that. I hope I get to do that in Darktide, honestly. I really hope... I don't know, like, there's gonna be... It, the, the world is so different. No one's gonna need me to tell them what to do. There's gonna be, like... Any fucking game like that comes out, there's gonna be like 20 different YouTube channels already before me going like, Hey, what's up guys? Here's the latest meta perk list for Dark Tide. Make sure to do this, this, and that. Pick that, this, this, and that. And use this equipment. Alright. No one needs me. But like, it was a different time in 2012, you know? Like, YouTube was still only like five years old, I swear. Like, it hadn't blown up yet. You, it wasn't like, there wasn't just like, like, let's plays on like something awful. Like, like... Text let's plays were still a thing. Like, there was still room to be that guy. I don't know, no. I feel like there's gonna be so many for Dark Tide. But maybe, maybe I can be number one. Maybe I can eat the smaller ones. <laughs> I'm gonna take mana regen. Any Wonderland says, I, uh, Tactics Ogre is like 20 years old, Beagle, though I assure you, you'll find some way to build nobody in two decades is still of. Hey, we do it to open XCOM, right? Maybe. <laughs> Doug has me so hyped. Yeah, I'm so excited! There's still a thing? Yeah, I know, but like... I'm just saying, it was like an era of like, hobbyist YouTubing and Let's Playing before it became a big business. Now that things are a big business, you can guarantee, because of capitalism, that there will be people doing that for any moderately large game that comes out. Because money, baby. Money, 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 money. 
All I'm trying to say is, like, back then, it was, like, a thing that was more for fun. It was more for hobby. People were exploring the ability to make a living out of it. But, like, I don't think in 2012 that had taken off yet. It was, it was just a very different culture. It was a very different time for YouTube. But, but now there's no hole left unfilled because holes are money. That's a niche that you could fill. You could be the guy to fill that niche hole. So you won't find a hole left unfilled in today's YouTube economy because that, that's money going to waste. That's, that's oil undrilled. Someone needs to drill those holes. And, you know, it's probably not going to be you. Anyway, I gotta play the game. <laughs> I gotta play the game. Um, swords. Nimbleness. This is good. I rarely get hit for health, so this is good. Though as the enemies get harder, this will change. Bag equipment slots is always good. I'm just getting onto many tangents, sorry. That's not a very good mana potion. I don't want that one. I want, like, plus twos. I want better ones. Uh, block trinket is fine. I'm not gonna buy any of this shit. I'm just gonna buy more gold, I think. Oh, but a longbow is so nice. I love longbows. Longbows are isolation cannons. And they also have, like, really long range. And they have, like, a snipe shot, right? Yeah, yeah, it's literally called Snipe Shot. I'm actually so good. Um, and it, it, it can't be dodged. It, it's, like, back to front with the short bow. It can't be dodged. The isolation isn't that, that big on the longbow anymore. Longbows are sick. I love them. I love them, too. I think longbows are so fun. I love with longbows, you can just, like, literally sit in a watchtower, too. Once you get watchtowers, you definitely want a longbow. It's so cool. It's so convenient. Oh, and they have the Arctic Blast, yeah. There's just so many, like, fun different things you can get in this game. It's so tempting to just sit here and talk about them forever, sorry. I I do want to buy that Rusty Shield, but we'll see. Wooden Lomo is a bad variant, though. Uh, offhand Dagger. Yeah, offhand Dagger, yeah. Mark. So, what, Contagion just makes the debuff spread to nearby enemies when they die. So that means if you keep doing it, it keeps spreading. So that seems pretty good then, because you can apply... We can apply poison with the crossbow, and then have Contamination spread it. As long as it doesn't spread it to me. Random adjacent units, it can happen to me, so I gotta watch for that. Oh, I, shit. She's also got the poison tree, so she can also... Whoa. This is going to combo nice. Well, we're going to get this first. Yo, to all enemies within a range of three. At the end of the hero's turn, apply 30 poison to all enemies within a range of three. That's insane. That's so powerful. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so good. I need more block now so she can just wade in and stay there. So I feel like it's going to be definitely worth it to buy that block. Perks in this game, Rocky. A lot of these are new to me, so it's really exciting. Um, Crippling Punch, Overload, First Blood. When attacking a unit with full health, the attack gets plus 15 critical. Yeah. Uh, if you were melee, I'd send you into this too. Coagulation. Nope. Quick reload. Eh. Where's your contagion? Cherry picking. So each of the random trees also have random shit? No, contamination isn't that tree, I see. Perseverance. Attack. Every two attacks from the hero dodge by at least one unit. Restores on action points. Meh. Maybe just putting the reliability up, I think. On isolated targets. And then on Bellicad. Bellicad, 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 Bellicad. Enemies kill by the fences. Oh yeah, we want this one straight up. We want to get them Ballista XPs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, gamers. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and build some more hoosies. I love to build some hoosies. Hoosie, hoosie. We're just gonna upgrade the hoosies right now, right? Hoosie upgrade time. If I sell this, do I get any money back? I'm gonna sell it now, I think, so I can fit more defenses here later. Tis, I think, the way to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you, who are you calling a hussy? You wish I was calling you a hussy. Let's demolish that house. If you use the worker, sell it and then get... Could I have just got a free worker there? Hmm. Hoose. Anyway, they're back. Now I want to put up another gold mine and keep doing gold mines. So we will put another one there. I need 11 more dollars, please, so I can upgrade production again. Do I have a 2B I can get rid of? No, it's all 4s and 1s now. Has he seen how much space is up there? The entire thing is a defense build area. What, here? Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, production effects. Excellent. All right, that'll kind of do for, for this turn, I think. Uh, now we're doing the defenses. Now we deleted the house. Oh, shit, you know what I forgot, though? Oh, free item. Fuck, you stupid idiot, Beagle. Dumb, can I undo? No, I can't undo. Ah, oh, you forgot to, 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 to plumb the corpse. No! You idiot! The corpse! The free item! No! Fuck! No! No item! What a waste! Moron beagle. Right, we need more items. I mean, more uh, ballistas, so... Gate's probably gonna go here, 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 here. So we'll put Ballisti there. Ballisti here. And Ballisti here. Yeah, Ballisti down here. Go into the fence building mode and check how much space you have in, in the corner of the deleted houses. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, Sambo, you fuck. But I wanna put like walls and shit up here, is what I'm saying. And more shit. I want to put, like, stuff there. Yeah. I know! I know, Sammy! I know! Don't you start with me, Sammy! I know! Okay, we'll put another one here. And then... Do I want to repair my stone walls? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. it saves a lot to repair them now. So let's just repair them now while we have the opportunity. Well, repair one of them anyway. Okay, cool. Tesla was blocking noise. Yeah, but it was blocking me from doing stuff later. I know! I know it was. I know what it was blocking. I had to get rid of it. There's repair all. I have enough ammo, uh, durability for that. Stuff for that. End phase! Okay. So, this is our first split turn. We're gonna put... Bad at the game on subbing. Fuck you! How about that? Fuck you! We're gonna put sword... Pokemon sword and mage up here. And I feel like the hand crossbow is the one who can solo. One, two, three, four, five. So you're gonna come down here and you're gonna solo. One, two, three, four. You come to here. Okay, beautiful. I love it. Let's go. Oh, I should really get a fucking mana thing too. Jesus. 